is October 30th, the last day of Superhero Week. It's Friday. We've been super all week. Now it's the superest day of all. But we might just be too super for this anchor desk. Let's fly over to Super Samson to see what's for lunch. Hello, Spurs. I'm Superhero Samson. You know, even superheroes like me need to eat a healthy lunch so it can be awesome all day long. Here is today's marvelous menu. Captain America cheeseburger, Wonder Woman waffle fries, Green Ninja green beans, Fantastic Four fruit juice, and Mano Seal's favorite drink, milk. Today's quick bite is super yummy yogurt snacker, and today's salad is Hulk Smash Harvest Salad. I'm ready to have a great day, Spurs. I hope you do too. Thanks, Super Samson. Lunch sounds amazing. I bet it will enhance our superpowers. Next, we are featuring uh, some of the best superheroes on our campus, the 5th grade patrols. We went outside and found them getting ready to do their heroic jobs on campus. Let's go! We're superheroes around the school by helping kids. I take the kids to a cafeteria and the cart. I help the little kindergartners by helping them clean up the centers or around their desks. We help, help kids in the morning and in the afternoon, afternoon by helping them get in the school and out of the school safely. We help kids organize. We love helping kids. We enjoy being patrols because it's fun and we like helping others. And we help them be um, productive, understandable, respectful, and safe, which also means spurs. Spurs, we just finished cutting out all the box tops and you guys were so super at collecting them that in total we have 5,695 box tops. Wow, that's a lot. The class that brought in the most box tops is Mrs. Pickerel's class. Good job guys, you're gonna have your nacho party next Friday. Speaking of superheroes, the classes that earned the most AR points for the first nine weeks are in first grade, Mrs. Walter's class. In second grade, Miss McCoy's class. In third grade, Miss Jensen's class. In fourth grade, Miss Hedman's class. And in fifth grade, Mrs. Smith's class. Miss Sloan recognized some individual spurs that had the most points in the whole school. Let's go pop in and see who they are. I am here with our AR super students of the first nine weeks. First we have Samson scoring 96% correct and earning 54 AR points for the first nine weeks. Congratulations. Next we have Shayna with 95% correct and 57 AR points for the first nine weeks. Next we have Mr. Ethan with 99% correct earning 62 AR points. Very impressive, good job. And last but definitely not least, Hannah has a 98% correct average. Hang on, are you ready for this? 123 AR points for the first nine weeks. Awesome job, good work, good job, good read. Another way to be a super reader is to be excited about your book, like Hannah did. Hi Spurs, I'm Annabeth from my favorite book series, Percy Jackson. We have many superheroes today, such as Iron Man, Superman, Batman, and many more. But did you know that in the Greek and Roman times, they had their own superheroes? In this book, Percy Jackson the Lightning Thief, Percy, the son of Poseidon, has several run-ins with Atlas, the, the commander of Kronos' army. Whereas in this book, the hero of the hero Perseus meets the former commander of Kronos' army, Atlas. Wait a minute, Atlas! You'll be hearing more about a superhero named Atlas later in the show. Or should I say, Super Dog. I should get back to reading these amazing books. Looky, looky, it's Super Atlas! And he decided to join in on the superhero action and use his superpowers to fly to two places in our country that have special anniversaries this week. First, Atlas soared to the top of the Gateway Arch 
It was opened on this date in the year 1965. Next, Atlas zoomed north to visit this beautiful national symbol, sometimes known as Lady Liberty. She was a gift to America from France. She was given to us in the year 1886. So where do you think Atlas visited? If you figure it out, email Ms. Care and, and we'll announce the winner on Monday. We're in this computer lab to introduce you to a new superhero, Programma. She is fighting a supervillain named Virus. Oh no, what did I do? Aha! You fell for my trap. Didn't you know never to click on an unknown email? Of course you didn't. Now I have a virus on your computer no one can defeat. Ha, ha, ha. Programma, help, help. Did someone call for Programma? You. You were the one who beat me at last year's competition. Virus versus internet safety. Exactly. I beat you last year and I'll beat you again. Ha, huh. I'd like to see you try. You're on. This is round two. For me to get the point, a student will have to fall for my trap and click on something they shouldn't. If they don't, you get the point. But I don't think that's going to happen. Students already know that they shouldn't click on an unknown email buy something online unless their parents say they could, and never go meet anyone they met online. Well, you won that round, but you can't catch me. Go, virus, and never come back. Look, what's that up in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's a new superhero. It's Attendance Man. What? Attendance Man. He encourages kids to come to school on time every day. Oh, I thought you meant a real superhero. Yeah, I thought it was something exciting. It is exciting. What's so great about him? Oh, here he comes. I'll let him explain it to you. Hi, Southwest Spurs. If you're absent two or less times in the first semester, you could win one of these bikes. I guess you're an awesome superhero after all. Thanks. I try. Spurs, we've been super all week. Now it's up to you to make today the super day of all. We hope you have a productive, understanding, respectful, and safe day.